Welcome to another Grease Pencil Development video. So today we're going to be talking about two new features I, um, I've been working on uh, related to the onion skinning and the um, interpolation operator. So this this here. Uh, that, okay. So let's, let's start by just creating a new animation. Um, so, okay, a little bouncing ball. Okay. Like so. Okay, so we've got f f um, keyframe frame oh, frame one and one on frame twenty six. Okay, so enter edit strikes mode on that. Okay, and we'll enable onion skinning. Okay, so we see we've got just two frames and um, it's either or. Okay, so. So, you know, it's a lot of work creating what in-betweens beto uh, to smoothly um, animate between this position and that position. So, um, Antonio has been working on a bunch of operators to make it easier. So, we've got firstly the interpolate operators, first one here, which lets you um, sort of interactively select a position between these two and even past that. Okay. But uh, what we really going to be talking about today is the sequence operator okay so what this does is it will generate um, a bunch of keyframes to fill up the space here between two keyframes so it's going to go bop, 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 um, until you've got um, a whole frame a whole bunch of keyframes on once okay so if we press that you see that by default it's created um, a whole bunch of breakdowns and if you scrub through the animation let's see it's um, it smoothly interpolates between two. Now, if we bump up the um, down, um, onion skin, onion skinning, we'll see that you know actually it's pretty boring looking animation motion. Yeah, it's you know, it's pretty uniform, steady rate. You know, uniform steady rate, not much interesting, and pretty unnatural. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, so. You know that's the default mode. Okay? Uh, this default mode is linear. That uh, linear interpolates between A and B. Boring, All right? So um, we're gonna do better than that. So let's first get rid of all these blue keyframes, uh, blue breakdown keyframes that's generated. So we come over here and we use the remove breakdowns um, operator. So if we press that, bam, they're all gone. Yeah, so we're back to just having these two. Okay, so um, once again we move back to the middle of these two um, before we run the operator. So remember, um, if we must be between a pair of keyframes, you cannot be on a keyframe or else it'll throw an error. So, you know, see, you'll complain if it's on a keyframe or if you're outside the range, you'll complain. So you've got to be between a pair of keyframes. Okay, so let's let's have a look at what sort of other options we've got for interpolating other than uh, linear. So if we press this, we'll see we've got all of these sort of easing effects um, that you may be familiar with from um, F curves. So you know you've got your exponential, your sine, your cubic, your whatevers, and you've also got things like bounce and elastic. Yeah, we can try bounce. Okay. And once again, we'll generate a sequence. And this time you'll notice things look a bit more interesting here. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just play this back. Okay. And all of a sudden, instead of a straightforward, um, sort of straightforward A to B, we've got sort of boom, boing, 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 boing. Okay. And, you know, Folks are quick effects, you know, motion graphics and whatnot, that may be fine, but you know, sometimes you may want a bit more control. So, you know, let's let's get rid of these and try something else. Okay, so if we, if we go back here, we'll see that there's an option custom. Okay. We're gonna select that, and you'll notice we've now got this little curve widget. So what this does is it says, um, um, on horizontal, it's just like an F curve, okay? So along here, we've got time. So from uh, frame A to frame B. So frame A to frame B. And this is um, 
how far along distance from A to B we are. So that's 0% of the distance, that's 100% of the distance. Uh, pretty straightforward, right? Okay, so you can do um, some, you know, so let's go and add some keyframes to see what happens. And we can go like this, this, yep, and, and then generate sequence. And what do we get? Uh, that's pretty black. Yeah. So we can add some more. Yeah. Maybe eat, oh, yeah, even it out a bit. Uh, bring it down. And try the skin. Right. So remove the breakdowns, clear it all away, and do it again. Okay, so using this, um, we've got a basic sort of workflow here where we generate. Uh, so where we add some keyframes, generate, uh, clear, um, then use this to remove, tweak, run, remove. Simple little iterator workflow we've got here. So now we're going to play this back. And let's look a lot more interesting. Yep. Okay, so, so that's the um, interpolation operators. Now, you'll notice that... Um, you know, scrum through um, that the um, the keyframes aren't um, that the onion skin isn't visible, but then um, but then if you release the keyframe, the scrubber you see all of the, um, all of the ghosts visible, and you know you also notice that they're not visible in the renders. Now, sometimes that's a good thing, but other times, you know, actually it's um, it's pretty nice seeing those, um, all those onion skins visible. You know, you can create lots of interesting effects like um, uh, ghosting and uh, other special effects. So um, that's why I added a new feature of here. So if we have a look, we've got this um, uh, camera icon here. And if we toggle this on, you'll see that if we render now, um, all, all of these ghosts are still visible and render. Okay, so this is a per layer option, and it can be really useful for, um, and also when you scrub. Yeah. So, so this can be really useful for um, creating sort of special effects. So, if for example, if, if we keyframe these um, these settings as well, yeah. and then maybe we drop this down. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and then we can sort of make this go away. Okay. And then bring it back. Yeah. So, like so. So now if we play this back, so we can sort of use this this sort of thing to control um, when, where we get ghosts and where we don't. Um, yep. All right. So um, that's a little quick. <laughs> oh no, so quick uh, demo of the interpolation and. Uh, new onion skinning options. See ya. Bye.